Welcome to the club, cause you're that kind of nerd. Welcome, listeners, to your exclusive spoiler cast of the recently released Vin Diesel movie, Bloodshot. Uh, this movie was supposed to be out in theaters, but then theaters aren't a thing right now. Uh, so they released it on uh, VOD, right to right to our homes, and uh, we finally had the opportunity to to go ahead and watch this. Uh, I am CJ Mellon, joined, of course, by the one and the only Brian Thornton. Yo, welcome. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Josh couldn't be here with us this week. He is undergoing uh, cybernetic experiments and one day will regain his memory and turn against Brian and I for realizing what we've done to him. <laughs> Oh, shit. We're so fun. We're so done, man. It's over. Just pack up the bags and go home. Uh, Man, Bloodshot. Uh, So <laughs> Bloodshot is based off a, a Valiant com- uh, comic. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. It's actually one of their most popular uh, comics, if I remember correctly. One of them. Uh, I would say this in like Exo Man of right. War. So Ray Garrison is an elite soldier who was killed in battle, brought back to life by an advanced technology that gives him the ability to have superhuman strength and fast healing. With his new ability, he goes after the man who killed his wife, or at least that's what he believes. He soon comes to learn that not everything that he has learned can be trusted. And the true question is, can he even trust himself? That's not really like true, the last part at the end. I'm I'm sure he can trust himself. It's I mean, you really there, trust there, the people there, around you. There there could have been something interesting that they did like that, but they but, didn't. But they did not. No, they did not. Uh, first impressions, uh, Brian, after uh, watching this movie. Yeah, it's fine. And I, I I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It was fine. Here's my thing. Go ahead. Uh, oh. I, th- I I think I don't like Vin Diesel. I, yeah, I, here's no, here's you. my thing. Vin Diesel has two acting styles. It's either, I, I live my life a quarter mile at a time, like, like really kind of like some the gravelly, or right. he goes, I didn't snitch on nobody. I didn't, st- I didn't do it. Like he's, there's no in between with the guy. So, uh, I'm watching this movie and I'm going, yeah, it's not that bad. Like, it's not, like, it's not that bad. Like, it's not, it's, it's not bad. I'm just going, it's, 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 it's he's not just bad. Hold on. And I'm going, it's not, it's not that bad. Like, I can, this isn't that bad. And then I'm going, oh, okay, well, I mean, that's not that great, but okay. Then I'm going, oh, God, they're on this pier together, and Vin Diesel is a shitty actor right now. This is a terrible scene. And then the the quote-unquote boss battle, right, the big fight, the, the dang on of the whole movie happens. I'm like, oh, this looks like a PlayStation 4 cutscene. Count yeah, me out. And I, I was wasn't that completely. Like, yeah, I, out. I definitely noticed it. I definitely noticed it, but I wasn't that oh, I was, off about that. It was it, it is a mid budget movie. I expect mid budget special effects. I mean my I, I blame I blame more so the director who said, <laughs> Oh yeah, we could totally do that. And it'll look right. It'll look good. Right. You know, like but like I can forgive that. I, I can forgive that for a couple moments. It's just that he's not he's not good. Well, I was again, I was kind of okay with with the character, right? For 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 a little bit of time. But as as more scenes got a little bit more emotional, as things really kind of got like really in there, I'm like Vin Diesel is not the person to pull this off. And I he, think that's he it. He looks the part and that's but about he, it. But he doesn't. He, had, he doesn't know. No, he doesn't. He's very he big like and bulky. Again, I'm gonna go to the, the, the. I'm gonna go back to Jason David Frank, who actually did play Bloodshot, like an online series, who not only looks the part, but could also pull off the acting. But Vin Diesel was not the right vehicle for this movie to be delivered. If it was somebody else, I would really be into this. And you to your point, the director, I... the director too, Dave Wilson. The only other thing he's directed is a short episode of Love, Death, and Robots. And that's it. I did enjoy Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, but he did episode? one episode. Yeah, but which one? Sonny's Edge? Or Sony's Edge? I don't know. Now I have to find it, out. Hang on. But he did that in 2019, which means this movie was already done. So this is his first... Oh, he did, it's the very first episode. Oh, is it? That episode okay. was, yeah, that episode wasn't bad. Right. But this is his first like live-action day. De- you know, debut. This is the first one. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. Um, so here's here's my issue. Um, yeah, you're right. Vin Diesel was not the right vehicle for this. Nope. 
The story is solid. The story is listen. Yeah. It, it, no, it is. It's not amazing. It is a straightforward story. It's very it's well told yeah. for the most part. Yes. It's just not well executed by your main actor. Everybody around him is fine. Yeah. Girl played who played KT, fine. Uh um, Uziel Gonzalez from Baby Driver and yeah. ironically enough from Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw, yep. Um and uh Guy Pierce know, is Guy Pierce, Guy Pierce. Fine. Guy from Outlander. He was a he was a decent villain. Like he was yeah. a decent a hole, you know? Just Vin Diesel, like it really do you was. remember what I said to you when we were talking about this in the blockbuster? No, I don't. I said I don't have any hope for this movie because it is a Vin Diesel passion project and every time Vin Diesel gets behind a movie that he's passionate about, it never turns out good. Yeah. And like this let me be real, this was better than Riddick and this was better than Last Witch Hunter. This is pretty much better than every Vin Diesel movie with the exception of Fast and Furious franchise and I will count Guardians of the Galaxy in that as well. Even though he says one line, I, I also I also like the fact that it's got to be in a contract somewhere. Vin Diesel, like, if I'm going to do a scene, I want a wife beater shirt. Like I always want to <laughs> yeah. be wearing no sleeves. I never want to wear a lot of sleeves. And I'm just like, uh, they're having a moment. They're, he's having a thing of like realizing that he's back from the dead. His wife is dead. I'm like, he's wearing a wife beater still. He took off his shirt. He's wearing a wife beater. All right, fine. Yes, I understand. I'm calling it a wife beater. It's it's a. I apologize for that. But at the same time, I can't believe what the fuck he's wearing. This patrons, you uh, get the unfiltered uh, shit. You, you take. Okay. It. Wow. Okay. Is that too much of a tangent? All right. pa- pa- patrons, you're fine. You're good. Don't it. worry. The safe space. You're fine. Um, it's just no. It, it, I mean, I, you could have put any any semi decent actor in here, and and this would have been a, a a good movie. Not a great movie. I, I even think putting- it would have been. It, it would have been one of the better better to best comic book adaptations outside of a marvel project like yeah but because you you have him it's like middle of the pack like middle of the pack it's just like i don't hate myself for watching it but i'm also never going to watch it again oh yeah no there's there's absolutely no no way um can i also talk about one other character like one other actor who i was just like this is a weird um i always forget his name lamar Mo- Morris, the guy who plays uh, Wilfred. Uh, oh yeah, no, he was fine. I, I enjoyed him. Oh, I, I that, thought he was that fine. Accent, uh, it, you know him from New Girl. Uh, for, for, yeah, you see, he plays yeah, he's uh, Winston uh, and New plays Girl. Winston. The British accent was just like so Dick Van Dykey. I couldn't take it. Like it was so much like a Dick Van Dyke, uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, and Mary Poppins. Ironically, left two both Mary Poppins accents that are terrible. It's Cockney, uh, a Cockney accent. Yeah, but it's re- but it's a bad Cockney accent. It's like it's just not. It's just not. Good. I didn't find it that distracting. Oh, I, I, it I, I really me. didn't. I, I just you know I thought. Listen, like here's the thing. I, I don't know. I probably would have marketed this movie differently. I would have held the twist out of the of, of the of oh, the marketing. I, I love. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I of the, the market, trailer. Right, like I, trailer. I, I, I'm, I'm, right. I'm like I'm down for you telling me the twist in the first act. Like yeah, that that's, was nice. That's nice. Is that like we're in on it for the entire second ride yeah. until he figures it out. Like, I'm fine with that. Like I would have marketed it differently just because like my thing is the first time he's going through to go kill the guy who killed his wife. Like you're supposed to be like right in there with him. And you're supposed to believe like guy Pierce is acting like, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah. Like, you don't know it's a script. You, like you're not supposed to know it's a script yeah. yet because if you were in on it, the moment he left it, it would have been like the second time around. We're like, oh, okay, hey, you know what? You go do that. You go do that. This is where we're at. This is the script, right? But like the first time you're trying, you're experiencing it for the first time. You're not supposed to feel right. like it's it's been done before. It's like the Terminator Genesis plot twist where they reveal the fact that Con- so yeah, Doc so Connor like is, I mean, like part of the, the Terminator problem. You could have very easily marketed this movie with all the action scenes and not sh- not revealed the twist. Well, yeah. And, and and I would have been kind of surprised when they're like, oh, hey, uh, none of this is fucking so, real. Th- so thankfully, my wife didn't watch any of the marketing. For my this, wife. Thank you. Didn't watch any of the marketing for this movie. And we're about hitting that 40 minute mark. Right. And by the way, this is a two, but two and a half hour movie. Hour, 50 minutes. Oh, my God. Two hour movie. Way too long. Uh, and uh, we're hitting the 40 minute mark. And uh, she's like, I don't get this. This is kind of dumb. And I'm like, listen to what he's saying right now. And it's when uh, uh, they reboot their first rebooting 
uh, Vin Diesel's character. And she's like, wait a minute. It's all a lie. I'm like, yeah. Let's, so that person is his wife really dead? Is his wife alive? I'm just like, who knows? She goes, that's kind of interesting. And then the rest of the movie went on. She's like, I don't really care anymore. But, <laughs> but, but the like, again, if you didn't reveal it, the first time that you, you learn that, hey, man, they're just replacing the face. They're just control C, control V. They're manipulating the situation to make him do what he has to do really is interesting. You really kind of feel for him. And then you kind of understand why KT is just like, oh, I'm so tired of doing this. You're like, well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But I think they do a good job. Uh, if you just kind of ignore the marketing for this, they, I'm, I mean, Guy Pierce does a really good job of pretending. Oh like yeah, they all, they all do. Like a trillion the, times. The problem is to, to your point, because your wife stopped caring because you don't care about Vin Diesel. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other part. Like when he finds out his wife is still alive, and then he goes and meets her and finds out he, he and her separated well before. That's supposed to be a heart wrenching moment. You're like, I don't I care. I don't care. I, just, I <laughs> don't. Exactly. It. Like, Jeez. I'm at this point where I'm just like, just can we move on to you beating the crap out of somebody? I, I don't care, care about yep. this. You clearly are not the actor for this scene. Yeah, no, I don't care. That was exactly it. It's like, I really don't care. Uh, there was another moment too. So, uh, <clears throat> Guy Pierce is trying to confront Vin Diesel, right? To try to get him to like understand why he's doing this, right? Uh, and they basically decide, and not decide, but they meet in like a construct. And you know what's really cool? Learning how Vin Diesel can learn to fly uh, via programming, right? Mm. Like he wants to learn how to fly a plane. Boom. He just downloads it yeah. and now he can fly. You know what else is really cool? Building a town uh, out of nothing and making it look realistic. This That's just all code. You know what's mm. really cool? When the Matrix did all of that in the 90s. I was waiting for him to just go, I know Kung Fu. Like, they're just, like, uh, ripping off the, the, this really cool thing, but not doing anything original with it. They didn't yeah, do I mean, it original. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to counter that by saying this is a comic book out of the 90s, sure. out of that Matrix age. But, but that, I mean, if you're going to make the movie... You can't you if you're gonna do something that's gonna be similar to the Matrix. Do something new. Do, I, I do it in a new way. Or just yeah, make it seem like it's cool. And and they didn't. My my wife joked, she goes, Oh, so you can just like access a computer and like learn things? I'm like, Yeah, he goes, <laughs> it's like Chuck. I was like I do okay, love Chuck. I love Chuck. Don't do that. Please don't sully this movie with, with Chuck. The other thing I, I wanted to bring up was the name Bloodshot, right? Yeah, it's never mentioned. So they don't mention the movie, but they mention it in the trailer because fuck you. That's why uh, the bloodshot is when they recharge him and they redo yeah. the nano nights and, it, and it, they call it a bloodshot. But here's the thing. We never see Ray so damaged that he has to recover, that he has to recharge, that he's at the risk of melting Not until down the end of the movie, until the end of the movie. So he's got this Superman syndrome where nothing can hurt him. Nothing's taking him down. Nothing's there's no stakes for him to get hurt. So that when yeah. they're having the tunnel scene, right? At the first time that he's going to go kill the the guy who killed his wife, right? The the first character that we meet that he's going after to assassinate. He's getting shot, he's getting blown up, there's grenades, but he's not getting like I don't feel like he could die. Mm. I'm just like, "Oh, he's invincible." So like the stakes aren't there. And then as the the as it progresses, Again, same thing. He's he's in the the house doing it for the second time, getting taken over by millions of people. Not millions, you know, a lot of guys. But there's no stakes. I don't know that he could die or recover. They they show the mouse dying. They show the mouse turning red, but they don't do it for him. And if they would yeah. have had one scene where he's training or he's doing an extra or he's going out and he's like, "You need to come back and recharge. You need to come back. You're pushing yourself too much. You're going to overheat. You're going to die or whatever." That way, when it comes to the end. And I know that he's, quote, willing to sacrifice himself. I know what the stakes are. Yeah. There's just no stakes for this. I'm yeah. like, he can't can you, die. Can you explain something to me about the end? Because I, I was I'm, I'm still perplexed by this. Sure. Yes. Uh, Outlander guy. I don't know his real name. I'm just going to call him Outlander. Sure. Um, Is that the guy with Out the arms? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Outlander uh, with the fake legs. Right. Yes. Um, Puts on these arms. Now, if I had two extra arms, that gives me two extra arms to fight with. Right. <laughs> That's what it's supposed he, to do. He never uses his real arms. No. In fact, he has to move his real arms to hit him with the mechanical arms. Yep. So what's the point of the mechanical they're, they're not arms? Like, they're not like Doc Ark arms, right? Which are What it, is the like, point of them, CJ? Explain I, this to me. Because um, they're useless. I, they I do don't nothing. Know. 
I'm looking at them going, first off, that's really cool. If they ever do a, like a really good, like if like they could throw that stuff into like Spider-Man movies and I, I'd buy that like really quick. That looks really good. But then pff, they don't use it. Like in order to punch the extended left arm, he has to move his left arm and punch. But I mean, but that's, but, like, but he wears the thing on his neck to not do that. To, that to talk, to do it with his brain. With his brain. Right? Yes. And like, no so like, uh, so that nope. way I could give a right hook. And when this guy like dodges yep. it, I can punch him with a left yep. mechanical arm. Yeah. You know, like fuck him up. Use all four of the arms and like, what is wrong with yeah. you? Nope. Outlander, you suck. Just really that bad. show sucks. He's just really bad. And the same thing with the guy who had like the, the, the sight vision. They had the real cool, like I'm on the motorcycle and I can see everything. Yeah, Falcon yeah. did that better, but whatever. Yeah. But then when it came to the, like the boss battle, he's dead in like two minutes. <laughs> he's dead by by his own by his own partner. But uh, yeah, yeah, he gets. And that's the thing he gets, they make Outlander guys, you call him uh, a total dick, uh, right? And willing to kill his partner because who gives a shit? I, I just I don't know. Like there are parts of this movie that work, and again, I was kind of with it a little bit, just kind of wishing it was somebody other than Vin Diesel. But I'm getting past it. I was with it for about the first half. Here's, the moment the, the my, moment that scene with his ex-wife showed up, I was like, I'm out. I'm done. Why were all the other people that were cybernetically enhanced, with the exception of KT, why were they, quote unquote, bad guys? Why were they bad guys? Yeah, no, they have no motivation besides the fact that they work for Guy Pierce. <laughs> right. Like, I get Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce is like, this is technology that's going to revolutionize war, and I can't have anyone else know the secrets to it, right? The, no one can know the colonel's recipe, all right? Take him out mm-hmm. if they know it. If you know the 11 herbs and spices, you're out of here, right? I'm going to hunt you down one by one. But I don't get the other people's motivations to do that. They have they have none. Right, okay. So they're just Except bad for guys. Outlander guy's a dick for being a dick. Right, they're just, just bad guys because they're bad guys. Dick. Because bad guys. So the other moment is this. Uh, if you're familiar with the, the Bloodshot uh, character in comic book at all, the trademark look is pale white skin, Red circle on the te- uh, on the chest, bloodshot eyes. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a very cool macho comic book look. There's one moment in the movie where Vin Diesel kind of looks kinda, kinda, like the character, and it's there for like thirty seconds, and it's shit. Like the hero shot, the shot where he's like. I don't give a shit. I'm going to go down and everything's, you know, I'm taking everything with me. And if I die, I die, but I'm taking down guy Pierce. That moment doesn't look cool. It doesn't look badass. It doesn't look like I should be impressed. I was very let down by that. Um, and I just wanted it to, to be more. I also am not clear how he, uh, lived, how they brought him back. Um, yeah. Um, don't you know, uh, that guy, like, put him together because he's smart but he had like oh and he never needs to recharge again because because you know, smartness yeah right uh because computer hacking um I, I i didn't get that it's like you have a shot glass worth of these nanobots i don't know how you rebuild a whole like and again his body wasn't made of the nanobots right it was his no, it was just blood his blood. but like when he got shot in the face and his face flies off they the nanobots re rebuild him so is he is he made of nanobots? I don't know. I don't know either. And I don't think the movie knew. I don't think the movie knew either. No. What was good about this? What was the thing that you enjoyed? I enjoyed the action for the most part. Yeah? Yeah. And the story, again, the story is not terrible. It's no, the Vin story Diesel's, is actually really good. Vin Diesel's not the vehicle for it. Like, everything around this movie is is decent. It's just, you know, we didn't think through the actual mechanics of Bloodshot. And we didn't think through our main actor, I guess. <laughs> But I guess when Vin Diesel's producing it and writing the checks, he can cast himself. Fuck right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. I, again, I, this movie wasn't this movie wasn't terrible, but at the same time, it was pretty bad. Like I don't know where I would. I don't know where I would, would rank this. So let, let's talk. Stars. A little, let's talk a little numbers. And again, right now, these numbers are growing. These numbers are different. And uh, there's a huge fucking reason as to why this movie is is being able to watch in your house even though it was released like less than a month ago. So the budget for this movie is $45 million. Opening weekend only made $9 million. And again, no fucking movie theaters were open. Right now, it's made about $10 million, uh, US and $30 million worldwide. And to be honest, right now, for what's going on... That's not bad. That's not bad. Considering right? what's happening. That's not bad, considering there are movies now that will probably not get theatrically released, right? Who are now going to VOD and streaming services. 
Um, so here's here's the question I have. This movie uh, was clearly trying to set up a series. Uh, it literally ends with them riding into the sunset and then has the audacity to break to the fourth wall and have a character point it out. Ah! It bothered me so much. I'm just like, listen, go for it or don't, but like, don't do it at the very end. I mean, I, like, they, that, that makes me angry. Will this movie get a no. sequel? No? It won't. It better not. I'm thinking like if a country like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, if a, I'm thinking like if a, a company like Savon picked this up, they could no, if, if, if Vin Diesel gets a real hard on to make a sequel, he'll make a sequel, just like he did with Riddick. I mean, I guess you're right. Would you recommend? No. It? <laughs> you gotta let me get the question, out, Brian. Would you recommend this movie? No, I wouldn't. And if you could rate it, I mean, a- unless you're a diehard comic book fan like me, there's no point in you watching it. It's not even. It's not even like there's plenty of other better action movies to watch. And when I say better action movies, I mean better lead actors. <laughs> Again, that's the problem. I I don't. I don't dislike this movie. I really dislike Vin Diesel. Um, I guess that's my problem. If you rated this out of five stars, what would you rate it? Two. Gave, maybe two and a half. I, I gave it two and a half. So, uh, yeah, guys, I think you can officially pass on on Bloodshot. Um, I'm I'm actually really determined now to go hunt down the Jason David Frank web series and, and find it and watch it because I think uh, seeing this with a little bit more comic book uh, budget, right? Smaller budget than this movie, right? Uh, a little bit more trying to stay true to the comic. I think you'll get it with a, a different actor. So uh, I will report back. Anything you have to add? Negative. All right. Well, listener, uh, it means everything to us that you are supporting this podcast, and uh, we can't thank you enough for it. We're sorry that this movie took so long to get to us, but also, uh, I couldn't go to a movie theater. Brian couldn't go to a movie theater, so we had to wait for it to get into our homes. Uh, so as you know, for the uh, blockbusters and spoiler cast this month, uh, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Brian and I, I think we have made the commitment, sir, to watch The Hunt uh, for next week. Oh, Uh, sure. I'll watch that. So Brian and I are going to watch that. That was also a movie that was supposed to be released last month. Uh, So we will go ahead and put that on the Patreon for you uh, next week. But in the meantime, thank you again for your continued support of this show. Please, please, please recommend your friends to support us on Patreon. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you next week.